Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. This is the account of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, Noah's sons, who themselves had sons after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshach, and Tyrus. The sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Rephath, and Togomar. The sons of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, the Kittites, and the Rodanites. From these, the maritime peoples spread out into their territories by their clans within their nations, each with its own language. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tyrus. The sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Rephath, and Togarma. The sons of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, the Kittites, and the Rodanites. The sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush, Seba, Habila, Sabta, Raema, and Sabteca. The sons of Raema, Sheba, and Dedan. Cush was the father of Nimrod, who became a mighty warrior on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. That is why it is said, like Nimrod, a mighty hunter before the Lord. The first centers of his kingdom were Babylon, Uruk, Akkad, and Kalne in Shinar. From that land he went to Assyria, where he built Nineveh, Rehoboth Ur, Kala, and Resin, which is between Nineveh and Kala, which is the great city. Egypt was the father of the Ludites, Anamites, Lehabites, Naphtahites, Pathrasites, Kashlahites, from whom the Philistines came, and Kaphtarites. Canaan was the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and of the Hittites, Jebusites, Amorites, Girgashites, Hivites, Archites, Sinites, Arvadites, Zimmerites, and Hamathites. Later, the Canaanite clan scattered, and the borders of Canaan reached from Sidon toward Gerar, as far as Gaza, and then toward Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboiah, as far as Lasha. These are the sons of Ham by their clans and languages, in their territories and nations. The sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush, Seba, Havilah, Sabta, Reuma, and Sabtuka. The sons of Reuma, Sheba, and Dedan. Cush was the father of Nimrod, who became a mighty warrior on earth. Egypt was the father of the Ludites, Anamites, Lehabites, Naphtahites, Hathrasites, Kashlahites, from whom the Philistines came, and Kaphtarites. Canaan was the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and of the Hittites, Jebusites, Amorites, Girgashites, Hivites, Archites, Sinites, Arvadites, Zimmerites, and Hamathites. Now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. They said to each other, Come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used brick instead of stone and tar for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves and not be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower that they were building. 
The Lord said, hmm. If as one people speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language, so they will not understand each other. So the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there, the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. Sons were also born to Shem, whose older brother was Japheth. Shem was the ancestor of all the sons of Eber. The sons of Shem, Elam, Asher, Arphaxid, Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram, Uz, Hul, Gether, and Meshach. Arphaxid was the father of Shelah, and Shelah the father of Eber. Two sons were born to Eber. One was named Peleg, because in his time the earth was divided. His brother was named Joktan. Joktan was the father of Almadad, Shelef, Hazarmaveth, Jerah, Hadoram, Uzal, Dikla, Obal, Abimiel, Sheba, Ophir, Havila and Jobab. All these were sons of Joktan. The region where they lived stretched from Misha toward Sephar in the eastern hill country. These are the sons of Shem by their clans and languages in their territories and nations. These are the clans of Noah's sons according to their lines of descent within their nations. From these the nations spread out over the earth after the flood. The sons of Shem, Elam, Asher, Arphaxid, Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram, Uz, Hul, Gether, and Meshach. Arphaxid was the father of Shelah, and Shelah the father of Eber. Two sons were born to Eber. One was named Pelig, because in his time the earth was divided. His brother was named Joktan. Joktan was the father of Almodad, Shelith, Hezarmavith, Jira, Hadorum, Yuzel, Dikla, Obul, Abimeel, Sheba, Ophir, Havala, and Jobab. All these were sons of Joktan. Shem, Arphaxid, Shila, Eber, Pelek, Ryu, Sirach, Nahor, Terah, and Abram. That is, Abraham. This is the account of Shem's family line. Two years after the flood, when Shem was 100 years old, he became the father of Arphaxid. When Arphaxid had lived 35 years, he became the father of Shelah. When Shelah had lived 30 years, he became the father of Eber. When Eber had lived 34 years, he became the father of Pelek. When Pelek had lived 30 years, he became the father of Ryu. When Ryu had lived 32 years, he became the father of Serug. When Serug had lived 30 years, he became the father of Nahor. When Nahor had lived 29 years, he became the father of Terah. And after he became the father of Ryu, Pelek lived 209 years and had other sons and daughters. And after he became the father of Terah, Nahor lived 119 years and had other sons and daughters. After Terah had lived 70 years, he became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran.